Hello, dear friends. Science becomes news sometimes when something unexpected and unexplained happens. Opinion piece. Sun is broken. Scientific confusion. New astronomical mystery. Will it give birth to a new Earth? Mysterious cosmic ray in Utah. Strong increase in solar activity. New particle called San Gores. Solar storm warning on November 25th. Reality turns rumors into facts. Let's start. A part of the sun has broken and scientists are baffled. A section of the sun left its surface and began to circulate around the top of the star like a huge polo vortex. And it's unclear why this happened. In my opinion, the sun is about to give birth to a new Earth and completely change our understanding of planet formation. Scientists have made a fascinating and perplexing discovery. A section of the sun has broken off from its surface and is now circulating around the star's north pole as a huge polar vortex. The observation was made possible with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope, generating excitement among scientists. Sharp increase in solar activity. Over the past week, the number of sunspots has increased almost tenfold, and there are and there are now dozens of dark nuclei present in the solar disk. Analysts will have to spend some time in investigating these clouds to determine their trajectory. However, a NASA model suggests one could be heated for Earth. The first bright emission from the south could impact our planet's magnetic field during the last hour, hours of November 25th. Solar prominences composed by, of hydrogen and helium are elements that protract from the surface of the sun and release plasma. It is still unclear what caused this particular event, but some theories suggest it may be related to the reversal of the sun's magnetic field, as well as the fact that something expected is known to happen when the sun reaches a latitude of 55 degrees every 11 solar years, once formed in each solar cycle, and marches towards the solar poles. Why does it only move poleward once and then disappear and then return magically three or four years later to the same region? The answer is ignored. Mysterious lightning. A mysterious cosmic ray observed in Utah came from beyond our galaxy. Space scientists trying to understand the enigmatic origins of powerful cosmic rays have detected an extremely rare and very high energy particle that they believe, they believe traveled to Earth from beyond the Milky Way. The energy of this subatomic particle, invisible to the naked eye, is equivalent to dropping a brick on your two from waist high according to the authors of the new research published this Thursday in the journal Science. This particle rivals the most energetic cosmic ray ever observed, the Oh My God particle, that was detected in 1991, the study established. The cosmic ray named Amaterasu, after the sun goddess in Japanese mythology, was detected by a telescope system in Utah by scientists who describe it as unprecedented modern times. In addition to being one of the most powerful cosmic rays ever observed, Amaterasu may have originated in an invisible corridor or void in the universe. Goddess of the Sun The high energy particle called Sun Goddess opens possibilities for new physics and excites scientists. Over the years, scientists have managed to reveal the existence of quite interesting particles, boosting the entire field of physics with each discovery. There is the so-called 
in God particle, for example, also known as the Higgs boson, which gives its masses to all other particles. There is also the so-called Oh My God particle, a very energetic cosmic ray. But now we have a new particle in town. It is called the Sun Goddess particle and is approximately extraordinary. This particle has an energy level one million times greater than that which can be generated in even humanity's most powerful particle accelerators. Seems having fallen to earth in a shower of other less energetic particles. Like the particle, oh my god, these bits come from distant regions of space and are known as cosmic rays. The particle has been named Amaterasu after Omikami, the goddess of the sun and the universe in Japanese mythology, whose name means shining in the sky. And just as its mythological namesake, it is shrouded in a veil of mystery. So is the Amaterasu particle. Its discoverers, including Osaka Metropolitan University researcher Toshishiro Fuji, don't know where the particle came from or what it is. They are also not sure what kind of violent and powerful process could have given rise to something so energetic. Just as a Materasu is credited with creating Japan according to Shinto tradition, the Amaterasu particle may help create an entirely new branch of high energy astrophysics. The team's research was published November 24th in the journal Science. Rumors and news. Things are getting crazy according to the round print, to the round letter. Reality turns rumors into facts according to Dalbum. Tucker Carlson warns about chaos ignoring your instincts during history-changing events. On the brink of the abyss, the morning of Thursday, November 23, 2023, down to with a sense of urgency and an undercurrent of tension that could be felt around the world, according to Bidit Patriot. The world as we knew it was on the brink with a revolutionary change in global finance. The de-dollarization of the BRICS is just the opposite of Millet's dollarization in Argentina. Who will be right? I don't know. Millet shakes the political class not only in Argentina, but throughout America. The ECB assumes the risk of having gone too far with interest rates. The rubble is gaining and is the wealth currency that has performed best against the dollar in recent weeks amid rising rates and energy codes, according to Mark Sida. According to Ariel Strange Simpson's prophecy predicts a power outage or a blackout caused by the bond market crash. It was mentioned in Congress that the blackout would occur on Friday, and Jerome Powell said that world markets are controlled by a switch. Precisely on last Sunday, November 19th, the famous ISO 20022 was launched which could be a kind of reset. End of corruption. Twitter user Ariel has compiled the 20 fraudulent practices that big banks regularly carry out and that they can no longer continue doing. Use of insider information, shadow banking, posse schemes, money laundering, regulatory arbitration, ghost assets, off-balance sheet transactions, front execution, window dressing, round tripping, ghost employees, bribery, loan church, ch churn, loan churn, biding, dishonest trading, ghost accounts, market manipulation, double dealing and shell companies. An article in the Washington Times opines 
that stakeholder capitalism is communism in disguise, and that a stakeholder system envisioned by the Davos Forum, banks would not lend to companies that do not comply with mandates. Investors would not invest if Davos did not approve it. Insurers would not insure, governments wouldn't allow it, developers would not develop, builders would not build, and so on. The government, through partners and friends in business, would be the ones pulling the strings behind the scenes. Curious. Wikipedia claims that Tesla's 1913 electric car was a hoax. Non-fiction writers see OpenAI and Microsoft saying they used their books to train chat GPT. The counterculture in Portland, alternative music, food and sports. Turkey takes over from France as the second most visited country in Europe. A huge swarm of locusts descended on Mecca, leaving worshippers covered in insects in the holiest place in Islam. DNA sample from the Loch Ness monster could solve its mysterious origin. The producers on the television series White Britain from Dragon Films claim that they discovered that the DNA of Nessie, the mythical monster, is made of algae, which is supposed to live in the Loch Ness, located in Scotland. According to local media reports, the researchers detected two types of algae present in the DNA samples. They stated that this is exciting news as it suggests that Nessie may be a giant algae monster, monster in singular. Dolphin rape in Pakistan. An article that appeared on social media earlier this week shocked people with its details of an infamous tradition in rural Sindh of rubbing blind Indus dolphins. The locals know the tradition very well, but do not dare to condemn it, since it is an established custom in the area that has been widely practiced, but it is an ice sore. A monstrosity. Opinions. It is time to release the baggage that we will still carry, because our bodies of light are about to light up according to Ismael Perth. It is our divine right to fully embody the luminous light within you, and with that comes an opening access to universal wisdom and communication with the higher realms. To achieve this, one must practice daily, going within and feeling his inner presence, allowing this light to arise, to realize this, his infinite and eternal self, according to Kesharaj. Thap said, It seems that the various elements of the dark side have begun to eat away at us from within, and the, to eat away between them. I mean, and the only thing left to do is see how it collapses and why. It has not been an easy road to get there, and we are blessed to see this happen in our lifetime. There is again a major run on the big banks as the rich take their money out and take it elsewhere. But like all chess moves, it is just one in a series of positionings of the game board. The end result is a major push in the direction of the evolution of our humankind. The changes we have hoped for are already happening and the truth of everything is coming out, so we must pay attention. What do we know about demons? Assigned to people at birth, it is all intention to its distance the person from the knowledge of the truth, so that they die in their sins and supposedly go to hell, can be transmitted generationally, operate secretly in the shadows so as not to alert the host, is aware of an upcoming trial date where they will be thrown into the lake of fire, which means they know they have only a little time. 
They preferably use human bodies or animal hosts to experience the desires of the flesh, such as state, smell, sexual deviations, anger, etc., which are uncontrollable and incapable of reason if not under the submission of the Holy Spirit. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.